Good morning, it's Yvonne here to do the readings for Gemini or for the air signs. I have a little apology for not getting them up yesterday. Um, yesterday was one of those days when it was as slippery as an eel. Um, <laughs> the day just, I thought I had the day planned out, I had a very busy day and like I always say, you can't see things coming. Um, you know, any takes like this is my second take on the Gemini reading because I feel sometimes you know the universe has different ideas to what we do um, and I've already tried doing your reading once and it clapped out on me so those are the things we deal with on a day-to-day -day basis um, so let's get started firstly Gemini thank you so much for your subscription to my channel I thank you for sharing my video with others thank you for all the beautiful things that come my way like your donations your personal readings but especially the comments you leave for me. It really does help me to understand why we're bringing these messages through to you. So we all know we have a higher purpose. Um, we all know we're part of a collective energy and some days it's just beautiful to know that you're on board with that. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, I would love to have you on board. Please press the subscription button below and hit the bell to get reminders. That will remind you when I'm posting videos or when I'm going live. Um, I do go live one day a week at the moment and that is on a Wednesday at 12 o'clock. I do do spontaneous on live sort of uh, event, you know, just out of the blue sometimes, but lately it's been a lot busier so I haven't found that sort of spontaneity as valuable as it used to be um, okay so if the reading doesn't resonate with you please keep in mind that there are a lot of people that watch these channels um, the videos could go out to anywhere between a few hundred to a few thousands so um, it may not be your reading this week and I consider that you would be able to use your intuition there and move on to another reader I always say very important to check out your moon your rising and or your Venus um, I think it's really important to get get a full picture of yourself. But you know what? Sometimes you can watch a reading for a person because the title resonates with you, and the reading will be right even though it's for another sign. So just keep in mind you have most planets in your chart when you're born, so any reading could relate. If the reading does resonate with you, however, not only am I welcoming your comments on that, but I would really love you to give it a thumbs up it does help me to go grow the channel it is great support for me and for the community it does help my videos to become more visible whether you give it a thumbs up or thumbs down is irrelevant it still gets you visibility um, but I do appreciate the thumbs up and I want to say thank you to you in advance for doing that all right we're going to use the tarot mucha for your reading today Okay, let's get into it. Wow, okay, so you're starting off with a big bang here with the Justice card, Major Arcana. The Justice card is a card that talks about things being attended to by the universe to bring justice to a situation. Now, very often we don't see justice, um, but it very often comes up, this card will come up when in a personal reading when there's some sort of legal thing happening around a person but it also comes up when we're talking karmic energy so when karma has been misplaced or not completed so I know that I talk about this and I, I really do need to get into a talk on karma but karma isn't something we give to somebody else it's not about us giving karma back or punishing people it's not like that at all karma is a very personal thing it sort of talks about what we put out to the world and what we do will come back in some way shape or form now there is no such thing as good and bad it just is it just returns so if you're doing you know good things for yourself every day respecting others and treating others respectfully then it will mean that you would be treated that way and it's the right way to do it so if somebody doesn't treat you that way it's not about getting revenge or getting your own back for them it's what they have to pay so it has nothing to do with you or you wanting people to get the same issues or you wanting to wish ill on someone in fact that's not good karma for you so just really think about when we talk about karma that this is a very personal event for you it's a very personal thing 
What you put out to the world is reflected back to you. If somebody reflects back something that is not very nice, then that becomes a part of their own personal karma. When this card comes up, it says to me that something has happened for you in the past that there was no resolution for. So you may have not got closure on something. You may have found yourself in a position where you felt poorly treated. Um, and maybe you handled that with grace, because as you can see, this card is a lot about balance, grace, poise, um, and it's about you acting with integrity. So maybe under a circumstance, you acted how you needed to act. So something here is rewarding you for that. Okay, so it could have something to do with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This is the card of Libra here. So there is a water sign in your energy here. Um, and this water sign may not have done right by their own karma in regards to you. So it may be that they didn't give you closure, they didn't leave something right in the universe. I see here that this person is still keeping a close eye on you though. So they still have they still have this energy around them that they want something more. They want stability with you. This is someone from your past here. Okay, so again we've got Libra Gemini Aquarius energy. So I feel like this is your energy coming through here. Something is about to yeah, okay. I feel like here that you have rebuilt since a person, all right? I feel like you've been working on your own energy. There may have been someone in the past who you feel didn't do the right thing by you. Um, and perhaps you've been waiting for something to be put right there. You may, may have been waiting for some sort of communication. You may have been waiting for some sort of resolution, some sort of closure, whatever it was for you. But I feel like you've done a lot of work on yourself. You've moved forward. You might be in a really good place now. But there is this energy here of this thing still replaying in your mind a little bit. So it does take you back and you are questioning what happened with this person. Now, sometimes the King of Cups can represent a father figure. So it could be that you're dealing with a father figure here or somebody who has very masculine love. Um, but it could be a partner, it could be a friend, but somebody here may have not done the right thing by you, but you've never known why or you've never had the answers to that. Um, and I feel like you've always been waiting for them with that energy. It's like, no matter what's happened, no matter how far down the road I've gone, no matter what's coming around. I mean, this could be a father that abandoned you when you were a child, but you've always wondered why. Now, as human beings, we tend to sort of want this closure. We want this energy of finishing things up. We want to know why. And we've been taught how to find that for ourselves. So to a certain degree, you may have sort of come to peace with that, but I feel like somehow or another, it sort of sits in your energy here. Now, if you were dealing with somebody that you know, walked away from a relationship or ghosted you or that you've not heard from again, it's very likely this person wants to make contact with you. I feel like they've had a lot of instability in their life since this. And there is somebody here who's waiting to put things right. So this is a person who is waiting to manifest something. But you see, I can't help feeling that this is both energies here. It's almost like you're both waiting for some sort of resolution. So maybe this was a situation where you pulled apart because you were both having triggers or something from the relationship or the connection. But both of you waiting for answers here. And sometimes we walk away or someone walks away from us and we don't even know what happened. Like we start to question ourselves. Did we say something? Did we do something? What, what did we do? What happened? And sometimes it's none of those reasons. Um, it just is one of those things where somebody's decided they want to move on. I mean, I'm not making excuses for people ghosting, but sometimes like being honest is so difficult for them to be honest with you. They might not want to hurt your feelings, whatever. Um, so there's a lot of complications with that. You know, I often hear of people like, for example, in relationships where a parent has done this and then years later they catch up with the parent and then find that it was nothing to do with them at all. It was more to do with the parent that raised them, not wanting anything more to do with them. So we don't always get the story, but we'll read the worst possible case scenario and we'll make it all about ourselves. Maybe it was something we did. Maybe we weren't loved. Maybe they didn't like us. Maybe we spoke wrongly, said wrongly, did wrongly. We've done it ourselves. And that's where we go. That's why it's so important that you find your own closure. 
because you don't want to get stuck in this energy. This is sleepless nights, worries, and whatever else. You're worried that somebody's going to return. You're worried that somebody's going to come back and explain to you what's been going on here. But ultimately, because you're in this energy, you're manifesting them anyway. And there you are as the Queen of Cups. Now, that says to me here that this is possible, that this particular situation was one where you felt there was a future. You did. You felt there was a future. You thought this person loved you. You thought that things were going to work out really well. And we have the card of return, the card of judgment, rebirth. Okay, so Ace of Swords, truth is coming. I've had this coming through in a few of the readings lately. Um, and I feel that we will get answers for something that's happened in the past. Will that help us any? I don't know. I feel like sometimes, you know, even when you do see revenge in action or things aren't right or the karma is that this person won't get you back, that may be their karma. Maybe they have to realize that what they want is not available to them now. That isn't about revenge. That's about their karma for what they've done. Um, but there's a truth coming through here. The Two of Cups is here with the Knight of Pentacles. This person is coming in to make you another offer. This is a go around again. No, no, um, I can't see that any other way. You know, sometimes I see things different ways in readings. This one is talking about somebody returning from your past to make an offer. This is a person who had great love for you in the past. So whether or not you realized it, this person did have a lot of love in their heart for you. Um, the Two of Cups, Ace of Swords, Queen of Cups, beautiful, beautiful energy. This person is coming through with a stable offer here. Whatever happened in the past, I'm not sure because it's going to be different for all of you. But you will get the truth here. And you are waiting for the truth. You can see you're waiting for it. You're waiting for the truth. You want to know what is it that happened in the past that created this anxiety here. All right, so we have you in victim mentality with heart pain here so you haven't let go from your end at all so you're punishing yourself for something that somebody else has done and that is victim mentality so what you're saying is this was my fault this happened to me so therefore i was to blame and this is the energy of this sort of victim mindset this victim consciousness and it has created so much conflict within you around this hurt and pain when in reality it had nothing to do with you in the first place. I feel like this person wasn't able to commit for some reason um, and maybe wasn't able to tell you why, but they're going to here with this Ace of Swords. Again, I'm not making excuses for people that this sort of behavior isn't acceptable, but it is what it is, that's it. So whoever this person is did what they thought was right at the time. Do they have regrets? Absolutely, they were totally in love with you here. But they weren't thinking about the love they had for you. They were thinking about the fact they didn't want to hurt you by walking away. But they've been waiting for you ever since. They've been keeping an eye on you. They have not let you go. So whatever this pain is that you're enduring, you're still carrying it with you because for some reason you believe that it was your fault. It was your issue, your problem. So this is what's going on here. There is a lesson for you to learn around this here, which is part of your karma. So I feel like it was something to do with a water sign here. But if it wasn't a water sign, it could have been a father figure. It could have been someone who loved you very, very deeply. But maybe they never expressed it here with this King of Cups. I feel like this person has been keeping an eye on you the whole time. The other thing I get really strongly here is they may have gone through some processes themselves. They may have gone through a lot of change. They may have gone through a lot of physical change. Because for some of you here, they may have walked away from another situation. I feel like this person is definitely from your past. I have too much energy to say it's not. But I also feel here there is some sort of change that's going to occur between the two of you because I see you both working on some sort of situation to bring it into closure. So if you're still harboring anger, if you're still in the energy of anger here, then there is a lesson for you to learn on how to let that go. So if this has been a very short time for you, it may be that you're still in the process of understanding how to let things go, but it's creating a lot of pain for you. And the pain is yours. It doesn't belong to anybody else. So you can put the anger out there. You can 
you know do all you want to feel angry about it but at the end of the day it's hurting you more than anybody else all right and there's the justice card jumping out on me again so this is part of your learning here part of your personal karma so there is a need for you to forgive here now the, the thing is with forgiveness it's not about the other person again it's about your own personal karma it's about you understanding that you have to let go of the pain because it's hurting you so when you forgive, what you're in fact doing is letting go of what you need to let go of. It's not about letting the other person off the hook, which for some unknown reason people think it is. Forgiveness is about letting yourself go, letting yourself off the hook. Okay, so we have the three of, oh wow, three of pentacles and the five of swords here. There is a really strong feeling here. The sun is here. So we know that there's a really good outcome to this situation, no matter which way it goes. Whether you accept this person back or whether you let them go, if you accept them back, well, then maybe it's both karma for both of you that's completed. If you let them go, then it may be their karma that's completed. It may be your karma that's completed. But it's like this energy of releasing something that has kept you tied to your past. The sun here tells me whatever it is, it's going to bring around some sort of relief here because somebody's walking away in this energy and it's like completing some sort of soul contract here. So let's pull an oracle card for you, Gemini. Oh, we're going to take leap. Alright, it's nice to get some new cards from this deck today because I keep pulling the same cards from it, which obviously then I realise is some sort of lesson we're learning. Um, okay, you go first. The universe will catch you. Life bends for the courageous. The universe wants to support you, but first you need to leap to throw your life in the air. Perhaps you know what you are being called to leap towards or away from, but scared to make the move. Or perhaps you are waiting for a big fat sign or instruction manual or permission to do so first. If this is you, this card is your sign and permission slip to take a deep breath and leap, and leap into the unknown. It's scary to let go of all that we know in hope for something new and it's normal to feel anxious at the thought of letting go of what we know for sure but this is the unavoidable process of rising and right now this is how you're being called to live. Nature is constantly showing us how to live with courage. Fall comes every year and encourages the trees to loosen their grip to allow what once was so full of life to fall away leaf by leaf. For a moment it feels like nothing will grow again. The branches are left bare with the comfort that was once was. But in the morning of spring, new shoots begin to appear and something new is born that is even more glorious than before. So there you go. So that may be also about taking this energy to forgive and let go um, in order to help yourself grow. But somebody definitely coming in to give you some sort of, some sort of closure here. I'll leave you with that. Thanks, Gemini.